So my wife and I <laughs> ended in Ireland. It was uh, the only country where we were allowed to go, given our documents. My wife Olga is a Russian citizen, so we was not uh, allowed into Ukraine. And uh, the only way to be together uh, was uh, my departure from Ukraine. We meet in Moldova and later fly to Ireland. Shortly after the start of the war, my ex-wife took my children to Poland. Unfortunately, Olga and I could uh, not get to Poland because of our documents. Now I am waiting for my passport to have a possibility to visit my children in Poland. It is a sad story, sad story of the separation of the families that war, war brings with it. But at last we are alive and well. In Ireland we were temporarily sh sh sheltered by a local adventure and bike enthusiast Dwayne Phillips. He also allowed to me used or use one of his velomobiles, Pima Velo bike from Poland. He also agreed to set, set up a temporary workshop for me, uh, where I ca can continue designing bikes and recumbent seats. Our first job in Ireland was to stock a torf. We used bicycles uh, to get to work. This is uh, about uh, 14 kilometers from, from the house. Everyday trips has uh, shown how necessary to have um, electric assist. Without it, I would, would be uh, simply too, too tired for work. Later, I was hired to work for a steel structure manufacturing company. The head of the company gave me permission to use some equipment to make parts for my bikes. I was allowed to come on Saturdays. The distance to new place of work was 18 kilometers, so I cycled 36 kilometers per day. I started uh, developing new seats and uh, for all trips I used Polish velomobile. My friend from Germany, Jascha Beutler, became a volunteer and carried humanitarian aid to Ukraine. On one of the trips, he was able to take my molds from Ukraine and, and take them right here to Ireland. Jason Dubin and his partners pay, paid for their costs, as well as costs of materials for first prototype. At that time, there was a week break at work, and I decided to start building the first prototype velomobile. Almost all materials from for the body fits in these bags. I continued designing the seats in the evenings and also started making parts for a new velomobile on Saturdays using the equipment of at work. I also continued to use the Polish Velomobil for every, everyday tra trips. It turned out to be quite room, roomy, but not very reliable and ener energy efficient. Olga also used the bikes given by Dwayne for trips to the store and to work. Daily trips provided valuable experience. We ordered red aluminium pipes to start making the main internal, uh, internal parts of the velomobile. Later, we were able to rent a house in another village nearby. Here, here I had a garage and I was able to continue working. I made some parts I have never done before and learned how to weld aluminium. Unfortunately, I do not have a mold for the rear wheel arch and roof. Finally, finally new velomobile was assembled. In the meantime, winter began and I saw for sure that 
it was absolutely necessary to have an opening windshield on a velomobile because if the glass gets foggy or icy, you can't see anything through it. And in the Polish velomobile, it cannot be open. I often use junk to make new prototype parts. But in the end, the velomobile began to move. I was able to return Dwayne to Dwayne his Polish velomobile. And now the first prototype of Moby Dick XL has become my main transport. At the moment, 360 kilometers has been covered. The XL version is too big for me, but even so, the velomobile shows very good performance. As you can see in this 3D diagram, there is too much room in the cockpit for a person of my height. Picture below. And this increases the, the volume and high weight of the velomobiles and reduces efficiency. But this velomobile can fit a person up to 196 cm tall and weighs up to 120 kg. All right, folks. So there is Alexi. That he he gave us that wonderful uh, video about the Moby. Alexi, thank you so much for that. You are now in Ireland, as you told us. And I was wondering, first of all, if you can tell us about your future personally. Now you told us the amazing story, the very heartfelt story of your family being in Poland, uh, your uh, wife now and yourself being in Ireland. And uh, I was wondering, what is your status now in Ireland? And what do you think will happen in the coming uh, months and a couple of years from now? Um, so thank you very much for inviting me for in this interview. So for now in Ireland, we, are, we have temporary protection. So we can, cannot stay here forever. And actually, I, I am driven uh, to have my uh, workshop uh, as I have in Ukraine. But uh, here it's uh, almost impossible for me. That's why we are thinking about um, some other country. Because we cannot uh, stay here and cannot back in Ukraine. I think it's for sure because of hateness for Russians. Um, it's very hard situation. So we will try to find some another country where we can stay uh, illegally for forever and uh, buy the house and make new uh, new workshop. And as soon as I can. Uh, start to make make an velomobile, I will start. When do you think you might have the Moby ready for production? Uh, I think around one year because I cannot make a production here in Ireland. So it was very difficult to build one, one this uh, prototype. So if uh, I and when I will have my workshop, uh, where, wherever it will be, I will start making Velomobile, and the first one <laughs> will be very soon. That sounds wonderful. All right, Alexi, let's, uh, if we could, take a close look at the Moby now. Okay, so it has this um, handle for, for lifting. It's very uh, practice, practice. And this Velomobile have has very... Uh, a big uh, angle of mm, turning wheel, uh, wheels. So it's like this very big angle. That's why it actually has long, long wheel base, but because he, it has a big angle of uh, turning wheels, it has not very big turning radius, I think around nine meters. As you can see, it has very low front area. This, I made this, this model specifically to make as, as low as possible front area. 
and make it more efficient. It has it has lights. It's uh, uh, normal lights, dump lights, and front lights. This and it has. Uh, if you just switch again, it it will blink. It's good for day day trips. Just take more attention. Ah, actually, I can I can make another walk walk, walk around. Alexi, thank you so much for showing us the Moby, telling your amazing story for our viewers. We wish you all the best and good luck, my friend. Thank you very much. And goodbye all to all. Thank you.